Well, I'm joined by some very special guests on Barra TV here today. I've got Carl Winston and Tori Harkness, uh, two former American college footballers from Los Angeles who some Barra fans might not be aware have been training with us for just over a month now as part of our pre-season. Um, Carl and Tori, thanks for joining us. No problem, man. Happy to meet you. Uh, Carl, we'll start off with you, I suppose. Could you give the fans an insight and maybe talk about um, how you initially became involved um, in Aussie rules football? Well, uh... I was uh, actually back at home. I was actually playing uh, American football, indoor football back at home. And uh, I received a call from uh, a trainer back home who I got in contact with, uh, Miro. And uh, he just basically gave me the details about the sport. And then I started, I did my research on the sport. And uh, I actually liked it a lot. So uh, I ended up coming, going back uh, to where I trained at. And then I started training for it. I trained for about six months. And then, you know, uh, here I am now. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I suppose inspirations for your career up to this point. I mean, um, if you've been sort of following Aussie rules football, do you have any uh, yeah, a, sort of heroes huge, or idols that have in, in influenced you over the journey? Yeah, I'm a huge uh, Carl Carlson. Yeah. Uh, I love the way he plays. He's definitely a person I look into and yeah. watch him trying to try learn things from. Yeah. And Tori, I suppose since commencing training at the club, um, how have you found the sa- standard of training? Have you been sort of surprised in any way or um, have you had to adapt to what you used to back home? Uh, I, I think the biggest uh, adaption was the uh, endurance part where um, you do a lot of running. Where in football you do a lot of running also, but it's kind of short and you get different breaks and stuff. But right here it's just repeated it over and over and over. And I think that was the biggest part that I had to adapt to. But um, I think I picked up on it very well over the uh, week course that we've been here and um, adapted pretty well. Yep. And it must be, Carl, it must be great to be able to learn from a legend of the game like Gary Ayres. Can you talk us through maybe some lessons that you've learned from him and oh, what you've been able to take on board? Oh yeah, Gary Ayres, he's, he's an awesome coach, a, a great leader, definitely a guy you, uh, you want to be around, you want to learn from and be coached by. Uh, just the way uh, he runs his program here, he runs a tight ship around here, but he also gives you, gives you the freedom to be yourself and, and just come out here every day, work hard and have fun. And, uh, he's, a, he's a legend of the game. You know, he's a shutdown defender. Uh, I'm honored to be coached by a legend of the game. So definitely, it's every day when I come I out. I feel here. like he's a uh, like a Pete Curl. I don't know if you guys know him from the Seahawks. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure there's some, some feel, fans out there who might oh, be worried. Oh, definitely. Yeah. I feel yeah. like he's one of those coaches, like a player coach, Players where coach. Yeah. he's uh, he's good with the players and uh, kind of let you have fun, but at the same time, take care of business. Yeah. And I suppose the players, how welcoming have they been? In oh, terms very, of very. They welcomed you know, us on the first accepting day. Accepting you into the group, I suppose. Definitely on the awesome. first day, we felt welcome. So we just got in there and they showed us. They show us every day if we don't know anything. Uh, we just go from there and take care of business. Just the whole board network vibe. Everybody is from the, from the GM to the head coaches to the trainers to, to the teammates. So it's, it's been, I couldn't ask to be in a better situation. Like, I, I feel like it's a very family oriented. I feel like I'm at home on that court, so yeah. I'm, I'm very excited to be here and looking forward to staying here. Yeah. And I suppose, um, personally, just to each of you, um, what sort of do you, do you consider your main strengths, I suppose, for AFL football? Um, both of you are obviously pretty athletically built. Um, and in addition to that, what challenges do you think you face to, to be able to get better? You know, uh, honestly, uh, the, the most important thing that we have to get better at uh, is the kicking part aspect of the game. But as far as our strength, I think our athleticism and uh, the way we can defend players and our ability to, to, to uh, perform with the ball in space and, and just move around and just make plays with our legs and with our minds. So I think uh, I think we bring a, a different dimension to the game as far as our athleticism, but there's always room for improvement. And like I said, we just want to continue to get better and continue to learn because we haven't learned everything yet about the game, so we're still progressing. We're just going to continue to get better. Yep, and I suppose, Tori, uh, what do you think of the city of Melbourne? Uh, have you had much of a chance to sort of get out and about and do some sightseeing and things like that? Oh, yeah, we've been all up in downtown area, the beach. Uh, been a few places around here, seen a couple of kangaroos and stuff. So yeah. uh, we got out to see a few things. I was yeah, here. It's an authentic city. Australian experience. Yeah, yeah. showing yeah. us the, the basics for them, but for us it's exciting because we don't have those <laughs> Yeah, it's <laughs> crazy, man. Uh, this, this is a beautiful city. Uh, Melbourne is definitely the place to be. 
I'm making here a lot. Yeah. And I suppose what's the ultimate goal um, for your careers? Uh, I mean, the next step for you guys in terms of um, post your time at Port Melbourne, uh, what's the next step in terms of once you go back home and um, how do you continue to progress forward through your career? Well, we want to we make a Port Melbourne's team and then uh, eventually the ultimate goal is to go to AFL. Uh, definitely. Uh, we set the bar high for ourselves and if, if your goal is not to go to the AFL, then why are you playing? Yeah. That's, that's definitely how we feel. So we, we got a long way to go, but uh, we definitely continue to put in the work and uh, so, uh, eventually we'll get there. Everybody has to start somewhere. So. And you've both been named uh, officially in our side to play um, in a practice match tomorrow against Casey, so that must be exciting for you. Oh yeah, very exciting. Just to, just to compete against somebody else besides our teammates that we've been uh, going against for the past month. So I'm just excited, man, just to be in an actual VFL game, to be, to be here, to put on that, finally put on that, uh, that uh, court uh, uniform, man. I'm very excited. The famous red and blue. Yeah. Uh, well, Carl and Tori, thanks very much for joining Borough TV and uh, we appreciate your time today. I'm sure the club will be sure to keep uh, all the fans informed of how your progress, um, how your careers progress from here, I suppose. Um, we look forward to seeing how you go. Thanks appreciate so much. It.